Welcome to Oriel DIY Health and Beauty, where we're going to talk about some things. Yeah. It's so thin and nice and like perfect shaped. I'm going to try and show a technique that I have figured out. I am a beginner, but I'm getting pretty good at poly gels. And I like to use the poppets or the dual forms. The only problem with them is that they're so curved. For me, I don't like to wear a really long nail. I just like a little bit of a nail because I have really ridged fingernails. So I'm really super active and I like to play guitar and make all kind of stuff. So that's kind of hard to do with long nails, but I still like to have like nice shiny nails. If I put a dual form on, right? So I like really need to press it and then make it low, which squeezes everything out up over the top. Otherwise I leave it like that. And then I cut the nail short. The nail like lifts way up and then you've got this big giant space under there and it's really thick. Like I wish they made just different shapes of these. Like why not make little almond shaped ones or what have you. I ordered another set. I forget what they're called. Gorak or something. Gorak? Rock? Something. They seem to be a little bit less curved, so maybe because I like to wear my nails short. I mean, I did this one last night, but it, it had so much underneath there. So I had to carve it so it would be a natural thin shape again, which I can get with the paper forms, but I really like how glossy and shiny that, you know, it just turns out really nicely with the pop-up forms, but it's just really deep for my fingers, fingernails, I guess, are kind of flat and really bad. I bought some of the fiberglass and it didn't even come with the stupid builder <laughs> jar. They just sent me like everything but the builder, basically. I haven't tried the, what do you call it, fiberglass. The, um, it looks like, I don't know, medical tape or something. I'm actually wondering if paper tape would work just as well. You could cut it and have, and just stick it on your nail. Just, it looks just like some of the medical tape. So I just grab a little bit of fiberglass material, take it in your hand and use the tweezers flatten the pieces, the width of your nail. If you like your nails to look kind of thin and you know, you're having trouble getting the underneath to look good, this is what you do. So I'm going to just put it right here for one second. So basically I do the regular um, base coat that comes with the poly gel. I'm using Cocelia and it was a good starter kit. I think that their pink was really kind of runny and their clear was hard. So I just mixed them together and then it has a better consistency and how much better it looks underneath. You don't have to clean up anything. So I'm just taking base coat. I already have a layer on and I've done my cleanup of my nails, but I take a nice thick layer it has something to stick to. You pick up the fiberglass after you flattened it out and set it. You don't set it all the way up to your cuticle. You set it like midway down. And I think that has to do with the curvature of your nails because if you put it all the way up there, like it won't form nicely. And then you just start like patting it into the, and soaking into the gel so that it gets wet. You like fitting it to the shape of your nail. 
there it is. It's on. I put, take a little bit more and I paint it over it. To, so just like extend it a tiny, tiny bit onto the fiberglass. Make sure it's nice and pressed into the liquid. Just like you do with the base gel anyway. You basically just put it in for 30 seconds and let the base gel harden and dry the fiberglass onto your nail. You like press, if you see the part that's covered, not at the top, but see, it's hard where the base coat is on it. So I just cut the, the ends of that off. Where are my scissors? I'm just gonna trim this end right to there. I have just a base of this hardened fiberglass that I just painted the regular poly gel over. Send you a lot that come with the kit. It's really long, so when I press them on my nail, it will like lift up because it it curves way down and it touches the table. I took them and cut them more into like a shorter almond shape. That works better for me and my short nail style that I like weird fingernail shapes too like they're wider on the um, they're wider at the end and then skinny at the top so it's difficult for me to find one that will fit correctly around my cuticle so I might have to go a little bit bigger just so this will freaking work and then I just take a little scoop of the poly gel that I blended. I think the brush that they send, this little short brush, works very well. And when you put it in the slip solution, you're supposed to just be able to move it around easily. Well, it doesn't. It dries out kind of quickly. I just put a little scoop in there. It just doesn't have enough of brush there to ha get enough slip solution in there for me. I found one, it's just out of my paint brushes. It's a little bit bigger, but I'd like to get more of a round brush, I think. I could take it all the way up to the end because I cut a nice almond shape. Too much in here, actually, because then you have a really thick nail and that's fine for the arch, but I don't like it thick near my cuticles, clearly and near the end where you can see it, it just looks really fake. It's not even like a normal thickness. Where I like it short, that's where it's curved up the most and has the most poly gel sitting there. So if I'm not really good at pressing it hard against my nail, it will look like it's shooting like a weird eyeball, like it's wall-eyed or something. Like it will sit on top of my nail and point up at the sky. Okay, I've got it pretty smooth. I've got the ends pretty thin and there's more material in the middle. So I have the fiberglass and I just kind of start at a 45 degree angle. Some people don't like to put it all the way up to their cuticle. I kind of do. And then I have to really press down. It's causing me problems because it all goms out on the bottom. I take a toothpick and I just clean up the edges. If I don't do this, it sticks up really wonky on my finger. Or it will just lift right off and then there'll be a bubble. And I have to use a clip. But the consistency is pretty good. It doesn't look like I need to use a clip this time. So see, there's a lot under there. I'm just going to scrape it off, get a little slip solution, just press it a little bit down in behind there so that the fiberglass is covered. I like my nail to look like a real nail. I want it to be thin looking. Okay, so I've got no bubbles. I pressed it down really solid. 
I cleaned up the inside, put it under the light for a minute. I have no idea what this is gonna look like, but at least you'll get the idea of what I'm trying to show, which is just the hack of using the fiberglass. I'm sure you could use the fiberglass paper. I just got some paper, but I haven't checked it out yet. I haven't tried it. Um, I've only tried these strands and I was like, oh my glob fixed my underside problem and I saw a video on here with a paper form hack that did not work for me at all it was a good idea and I was like oh my god finally but the way the paper sticks out straight it's not as flexible as the fiberglass the poppet is so curved it forces it back off your nail it's just not as easy as what she made it look like on that video Gosh, if I had something under here, I could really make this nail look real and like thin and have the shape that I want at a shorter length and not be so arched and thick looking at the tip. Okay. So let's give it a couple squishes to kind of loosen it up. There is the pop off. And then, so I'm gonna cut it the length that I would wear it. It's so thin and nice and like perfect shaped, a real nail. There, it's really thin and there's not a bunch of junk under there. 